You guys see that? A deer just ran through the house. Son of a gun. Welcome back to gold mining episode number three here, guys. This is something special we got going on. I'll give you guys the rundown. But Nate is up and going at 6.48 in the morning. Oh, gosh. Oh. What today's episode is going to be is we got the gold mine going last episode with conveyor belts. We have a bunch of pay dirt we scraped up with the dozer. That's looking good. And then we have our conveyor belts running 24 seven for us. We're spending way too much money leasing this dozer currently. So we're gonna take this back. But Nate has a buddy who knows of another dozer. The dozer is out in abandoned mine and some new people just went in and bought it and they're wanting to get rid of all the old machinery. There's a bunch of old machinery that's in there. They're wanting like to redo the whole mine and like actually start putting it back into production, but they want to get rid of the old machinery first. They're selling the dozer for 60,000. That kind of has me worried, though. It's a little um, high. You said it doesn't that's run. That's a little low. That's a little low. Oh, Those really? dozers usually go for about 200. Oh, jeez. Well, it's used. It's used. Why is there a deer it, running it, through a skid loader right now, though? It's used, but they said it's not in the best condition. We'll, well see what that looks like. Hopefully, we can get a steal the deal, steal the deal on it. Gosh, dang! This deer must have gotten the White House, got into some of Hunter Biden stuff over there. He's going crazy. Gosh, dang! <laughs> Well, we got to go back up there and return this, and then we got to sell these. Hopefully, we'll get enough money off of that to be able to afford the money. Okay. To be able to afford it. So, you guys are probably wondering how a 7.3 F-350 power stroke pulls a dozer. She's got a tune under. This was our grandpa's truck, and this thing is just... She's got some horses. Nate, are we going to have enough money to even buy a dozer? We got four pallets, so we should have enough money. Yeah, we might have to sell a buck. Speaking about him, where's he at? So, I didn't want to talk about this, guys, but Buck got his channel back. So, his channel got, like, hacked, and I wasn't sure if you wanted everybody to tell but uh buck's channel rental man buck if you guys don't know him great youtuber he records videos with us his channel is back online it got hacked and he got it back and we got a hundred ten thousand dollars from those from that gold there and then we gotta return the gozer, dozer so we should have enough money to buy this next dozer can't see crap yeah. where's the mine well they were they were mining out of the river like we were okay so this was the mine what did you say 19 when did they stop mining about tw about 2000s when they kind of quit they must have ran out of pay dirt i'm guessing if the, the place is up in weeds right now yeah yeah they kind of ran out of pay dirt type ordeal i haven't been here much i saw like satellite views but i ain't seen much like i knew this shed right over here was over here they literally said you just gotta find the dozer that's all they said oh you just gotta gosh. find it Oh yeah, there's a shed. Okay, we're getting somewhere. You think they'd keep the dozer under the shed? Oh, the, so their gold gold smelter underneath here. This was this was their one man camp over here. Oh yep. my gosh. We're one man at a time slow. Buck's got it better than this guy even. Another smelter? Two smelters over here? Three. Nope, these are sluices. Oh, sluices. Oh, is that the dozer? That's got to be the dozer, Nate. I think I see it. Holy crap. First of all, oh does it run? Lord. And how are we going to get this thing out of here? I don't know. Does it run? That's the... Let me see. Seems like it's on, 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 on. Make sure it has batteries on it. Still make sure they have charge. This thing, it's a cat. Is it D6 yeah. or D7? Okay. It's a D6. I'm trying all to give right. you guys a good view of this thing. So it's a D6. There's so many bushes and so much water underneath here that it's tough to give you guys a good view of this thing. But it looks like it's a cat D6. I think it's what they call a high track. So it's got like, like our other one was like maybe a mid track or low track. This one's like got a bigger track angle. So it seems like it probably has more power. It's got a big blade. It's got, a, I think, a six way blade. It looks like it should tilt, I think. Question is, can we get this thing to start? How much do you know about dozers? Nothing. Like literally nothing. Okay. That was so our you first dozer. Know, so you wouldn't know for a dozer if 1,200 hours would be good or not, right? I'm going to guess that's a little high. For a tractor, that'd be a ton. But for a dozer, I think these things just go forever. And I don't know if it's been rebuilt or anything, too. You got the ether? Yep. All right, go ahead. It's the good stuff, the blue stuff. Come on, Nate. Yeah, it's just clicking now. We need a... Hey, let's go get a big battery out of the truck that we got out of town, okay? Okay. Nate's got the battery. We're going to toss her on the dozer. He's just got nothing for power. I think it's a 12-volt system. I don't know. It's like dual battery for sure. Okay, right. let me spray some more ether. Yeah, spray some more. She's alive. The hydraulics work, looks like. There you go. Give her. Give her, there Nate. There you go. Come on. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. Come up. Left. Left. Oh, you got the chainsaw? Yeah, yeah, I got a chainsaw. Let's cut down these trees real fast if we, we got can. A, you got a 60,000 pound dozer, just push them over, Nate. There we go. Ooh, look at that over there. It's like a wheel loader. 
It is so thick with bushes through there. I can't even get through there. Will it start? Let's Here, go. let me let me try it. Let me try it, Nate. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead. There's bushes growing inside of this thing. Dirt all over the windows. We're gonna give her a crank. Here we go. Come on. Come on now. Keep spraying. Keep spraying. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> is it gas or diesel? I don't know. It's bad when you can't tell. I think that's a diesel right there. There we go. There we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and climb in this thing. Come on, baby. She's rolling Come on, gold. Got it. She is rolling gold. Go, go, go. Go, you got it, you got it, you got it. There we go, we're good, we're good, we're good, come we're good, on, we got come it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got it, we're good. Perfect. All right, let me get this oh, dozer from down Nate, here. Nate, I found a payloader. I don't know if we need this thing, though, but there's a payloader over here. We probably don't need it yet. We probably don't have enough money to buy this thing. And how much yeah, is the wheel loader going to be? Well, we can say it's not running. We can tell them it's not running. We can probably get about 60 grand also. 60K? Man, I'm thinking this thing's worth like 20K. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give them a call quick. Yeah, Janet. Yeah, I know you guys just bought the place and stuff. And you paid a lot of money for it, but hey, so we're looking at this dozer. You guys were asking 60k for it. That's that's fine. We'll pay 60k for this dozer. How much do you guys want for the wheel loader? We found a wheel loader back here. I don't even know if you knew it was back here. It barely started. There's some hydraulic leaks and stuff like that. Would you would you take 15k for the dozer? 30k? Meet me over on your side. 25k. How about 25k for the for for the wheel loader? Get yourself a deal. Nate, I got him for a bundle, 85K. We paid 25K for this wheel loader, 60K for the dozer. Okay, so we just paid Janet $85,000 for these. Now we just gotta get these things loaded up and haul them back. Now, we got a 40 foot trailer and a 7.3 Power Stroke F350 dually. We are not gonna just haul one at a time. We're gonna try and get both of them on the trailer. Okay, what goes first, Nate? We, we gotta go with the dozer first. <laughs> oh gosh, dude. Because this is why I we... love Farm Sim. Not that we're in Farm Sim, obviously we're real life, but <clears throat> you can do stuff like this. Can we talk about how perfect this dozer just fits up here? Dude, she is going to be squatting. Oh my gosh. What are You're we looking good. at? You're good. You're good. Come on. Dude, this is You're so good. This is so Direct bad back. for the truck. Directly back. Directly back. Come on. Can you raise? You're not hanging over on either side. Just come on directly. Directly. Come on. Come on. If I can just get like two more foot out of this. Okay, I think it'll work, Nate. Oh, uh, this is either going to be great or worked there we go oh yeah dude <laughs> oh this reminds me of like my fs15 days when we did crazy challenges like this guys what is up what is up it's a squad back is our wrecker stuck oh do you need a cdl for this of course you're sitting in the back uh, yeah you're right there's more cushion between me and death <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this thing's actually towing pretty smoothly. Like, you would think for hauling, like, you know, 100,000 pounds back there, it'd be struggling, but she's doing good. Okay, now we got a bridge coming up, and this thing definitely is over the bridge maximum. Just by a little. We should be good. Yeah, we're good. Dude, I am gaining so much speed here. 40 mile an hour, 43, 44. I'm hitting the brakes. We're tapping the brakes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Come oh, on, no. Right, right, right. We're good. We're good. Okay, we made it back home. Nate just has to clean out his pants a little bit. So we're gonna get this stuff on straps, get it off the trailer, clean this stuff uh, up. Oil change, hydraulic change probably, filters, like everything's gotta be gone through on this equipment. I don't know about you, but I don't like the white smoke coming out of this one. It's got like gray, it, it's like white gray and then goes to black. Okay, so we got our power washer, we put it right next to Buck, so in the morning we can just wake him up and spray him with water. Oh my lord, we are going to have to repaint this little sucker. Look at all that bare metal, I'm surprised it ain't started rusting yet. Okay, so while Nate's working on the dozer, I'm going to get the wheel loader and make sure this conveyor keeps running still. So this, I think if I remember correctly, the Lady Janet said the bucket holds about 8,000 liters, so... I can kind of keep this conveyor full and just make a big pile right next to it. So that way we're not having to move the conveyor all the time. So that's what I'll do for now. I'll just kind of push a bunch of dirt towards it. 7,000 liters. She was off a little bit. So then we'll just pile all the dirt next to it. Keep this mine rolling. Okay, we should be good for now. We dumped like probably 50 to 60,000 liters of dirt there. So that'll keep the mine full for like ever. We'll move some gold with the skid steer. Move this, get this over to the smelter so that way we can turn this into gold quick. There we go, pick her up, grab her, and then throw her over on the smelter. And there we go. 
Gosh dang, looking good. I went through and replaced all the hydraulic hoses. Thank Lord they had them up there at the store. We had went through replaced those, had to replace a cylinder in one of these tubes. It, it was all processed, but she's good to go. Try pushing some dirt closer. I mean, we got enough dirt closer for now. The mine can't keep up, but just, I don't know. I want to see the scene in action. Yeah, the mine ain't keeping up. That was my next thing. Do you want to start saving us some money? Like, let's use what we got to eventually start buying another one. I'd be down. How much are they? Well, the sluice boxes sell probably about 15k, but like the conveyor belt stuff on that on top of it, probably about another 80. But with that wheel lower we have over there now, what's stopping us from just going about it this way and just what, getting moving the, the dirt there? Yeah, instead of running conveyors. Where would you want to put the other sluice at? Probably up here. I think over here would be the best way. But if we do that, we need to kind of build like a better route to it. Okay, so new plan of action. We are going to see if we got pay dirt. We think we have a little more land right here that has pay dirt in it underneath these trees. And so we're going to clear. The, Nate's going to clear some of these trees probably while I'm gone. He's going to keep the mine run. And we're going to dig here to see if we got pay dirt underneath here. We're going to go rent an excavator for like a day. So we're just about back to the farm and we got this excavator. And this thing has to be almost as heavy as a dozer and wheeler combined because this thing lifted up the truck like crazy when I ramped it up there. Check this out when I unload this thing off the trailer. Should be good. Should be good. Truck gets up in the air pretty good, but we're good. Actually, it wasn't as bad. It was a lot rougher loading it. Okay, Nate's clearing a spot for us to dig out, get all the bushes out here, and then we're going to just start digging right here. There we go. Nate's got it. The question is, is there gold in this dirt? That's the question we got to figure out. Guys, I think there's gold here. I really do. So that means we're going to be able to mine all of this across this hillside here and expand. So we could have one of those going over there and then one of these going over here and mine this stuff on this side. And then we don't have any other area to mine because this is how much we have leased right now. So that's what we're thinking. Next episode, we are going to start testing this dirt and seeing if this stuff's going to produce gold. Thanks for watching, guys. Episode mining number three. Got dozer, payloader, and maybe found some new dirt. We'll see you in the next one, guys.